Have you ever wondered how green screen movie effects were ever done? Check out this quick clip of Captain America running through the streets. So you see, he's jumping on the bus, and then we're going to cut and see how the special effects and the green screen work together. So in this lesson, you're going to learn how to create basic green screen effects using Pixlr. So go ahead and open up pixlr.com slash editor, and then find a background image. It can be of a city or a landscape, whatever you want. And then search for green screen animals. And you, you're going to find a bunch of different animals. I found an elephant. But the key to this is to find an animal with just a green screen behind it. So once you're in Pixlr, click on create new image and then OK. We're going to bring in those images onto our canvas. So what I like to do is to go to layer, open image URL as a layer, paste the URL into the text box, click OK. And I have my background image first as layer one. The next thing I want to do is bring in the green screen image of my elephant. Again, you don't have to use an elephant. It can be any animal. Now, the thing that just happened is my image is larger than the canvas. So I need to free transform that to a smaller size. So we're going to remember, we've got to edit, free transform, find a corner, hold down shift while I'm clicking and dragging that corner. And I'm going to try and make it a realistic size matching my background image. Right there looks fine. Press enter. I'm going to go ahead and crop some of this so that I don't see any of the white canvas. Some of you might already know the next step, and that is to click on the magic wand tool. We can recall that the magic wand tool will select the same colors um, as long as the colors are all butted up next to each other. So when I click on the green, you'll see it highlights all of the green. My next step is to press delete on the keyboard, and you'll notice that it deletes most of the green. There's some green inside of the legs, so make sure to get rid of that. If your image has a shadow like this, go ahead and get rid of that as well. The previous lessons showed you how to create realistic shadows. For this first lesson, all I want to see is just an animal uh, against a background like this. Make sure that once you're done clicking around with the magic wand tool that your selection is deselected. So go to edit, deselect all. And we want to make this look as professional as possible, so we're going to use the eraser to erase around the edges of the elephant or whatever animal that you chose. <clears throat> so at this point, you should get the gist of what I'm looking for. I don't want to see any of that bright green. I want to see an animal either on a street like this or some type of landscape. And... That's basically all you have to do for green screening. Um, the point of using the bright green is that most people don't wear bright green. Bright green like that is easy to see. And that's why most movie producers and photographers use that bright green screen because it's easy to see and easy to remove on your images. So go ahead and create your photo and put it into your Google Slides. And if you have any trouble or need any help, let me know.